the everyday team at Neon is myself, Mark Nixon, and Valina Coivisto, but we also have other members who help with different aspects of the practice. Each of our projects is very different to the next, so we might work with a wide range of collaborators and experts to allow us to realise visions for projects that are very large in scale and complex in the way they use materials and form. I think something we both really enjoy doing is go through books and look for inspiration. I think that helps us to somehow explain our thoughts to one another better. I think that's quite nice. Yeah, I can really see that. So Neon is a practice that works between the disciplines of architecture, art and design. Our mission is to elevate the everyday life. So we imagine that our projects don't exist, for example, within an art gallery, but they exist in quite common spaces like a hospital, a train station, a school, the high street, ancient listed monuments. And so our mission means that our work can vary a lot in terms of where it's located and also vary a lot in terms of the types of projects that we do. Having the work for each project displayed on the wall helps things to stay present in our mind. But then suddenly we have a chance to look at another project and a brainwave comes. So it's, it's hard to know whenever inspiration might strike, isn't it? So it's just having that kind of everyday exposure to images and ideas. There is a degree of interesting craft, how things are made. Uh, and I think the material conversation is sort of part of that, isn't it? I guess what we try to do is use those familiar materials in a different way. That is also part of the idea of elevating every day or making you see something that is familiar in a new way. So it's kind of evoking the imagination of people with materials, designing for different materials. Each material kind of wants to do its own thing. So fabric wants to be used in a certain way, wood wants to be used in another way, stone wants to be used in another way. So we have a really interesting design process for each of our projects because we have to learn what the material wants to do. Whether it's a pavilion, an installation or a sculpture, and whether it's inside or outside, we would often move from analog sketches to digital 3D models quite quickly. And the great thing about these tools is that they allow us to place our project in a physical environment and to get a real sense of the size of it and the appearance of it. The visualisation tools will allow us to check different kind of sunlight or artificial lights and to really get a good understanding of how a project will appear. Some clients are better at it than others, but a lot of them find it hard to make that leap from a sketch and to be able to visualise how something will look in reality. And so we can send them renders or animations or even virtual reality that will allow them to really see the true appearance of a project when it's going to be installed. To engage fabricators, we actually start talking to them quite early on in the process and this is because we're not experts of any one material so there is a learning experience that takes place in an exchange between us as the design practice and them as the fabricators and when we come to a point where we're ready to then move into production then we would make a full set of working drawings 3d models maybe we'd send them a 3d print and it's a leap of faith to be honest but we tend to to kind of build up that trust through this process it's quite an exciting thing as well to work with people with skills other than our own